Let's get some shoes. 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 Oh my god, shoes. Shoes. These shoes rule. These shoes suck. These shoes rule. These shoes suck! So, I recently posted a video tutorial about how to squat. And since I posted that video, there have been a lot of comments about the section where I talk about shoes. I talk about what shoes you might consider squatting in, the difference between squat shoes, running shoes, converse, wrestling shoes, or squatting barefoot. There was a little bit of confusion, so I'm gonna make this short video to better explain what I was talking about. But before I begin, you can squat in whatever the hell you wanna squat in. If you like squatting in clown shoes, go for it. Now, let's go over some possible choices of footwear that you might choose to squat in. Running shoes, flat shoes, like Chuck Taylors or wrestling shoes. You can wear squat shoes or weightlifting shoes. Or you can just go barefoot. The type of shoe that you wear depends on your style of squat. Before I move on, are the shoes that you're squatting in really that important? And why are we talking about what shoes to wear when squatting? Your feet are the connection between the barbell and the ground. You apply force to the ground through your feet. If you had an injured knee, you wouldn't be able to squat because the knee is part of the chain between the barbell and the ground. If your ankles are jacked up, your squat will also be. Check it out. When you are standing up, the angle of your ankle is 90 degrees. When you squat down, the angle of your ankle decreases to much less than 90 degrees. When you have tight ankles and you try to squat down, you struggle to bend at the ankle and you lean forward onto your toes. When you try to stay on your heels, you lose balance and fall backwards. Using the right shoes will help correct this. So yes, the shoes you wear greatly impact your squat. So back to the shoes. Let's talk about Converse. Everyone seems to think that these are the best shoes to squat in. I disagree. In my opinion, in my opinion, the only people that should squat in Chuck Taylors are powerlifters who use a very wide stance. Their toes are pointed very far out, not forward. The stance is similar to a sumo deadlift, and you will never see someone sumo deadlifting with squat shoes. A lot of times, these powerlifters are wearing squat suits, and they use a very wide stance to take full advantage of the support that the gear gives them. If I was squatting with a very wide stance, it would feel a lot more comfortable and a lot more natural to have my feet flat on the ground rather than have a raised heel. What do you have against powerlifting? I don't have a problem with powerlifting. I actually love it. But the truth is, a very small percentage of people actually squat like this. Most average Joes and athletes squat with more of a neutral stance. Please don't get the impression that I'm against squatting in Converse. If you're one of the few people who has great ankle mobility and you prefer to squat in Chuck Taylors, keep doing what you're doing. I'm simply addressing the majority of people who have trouble keeping their feet flat on the ground when they squat. Now let's talk about weightlifting shoes or squat shoes. Squat shoes help keep your feet flat on the ground. They raise your heel and open up the angle of your ankle to greater than 90 degrees. So when you squat down, the angle of your ankle only goes back to 90 degrees. It also keeps your knees almost directly over your toes. Without squat shoes, your knees are several inches over your toes. There is nothing wrong with having your knees over your toes, but for most people, it's difficult to reach this position without having your heels raise up off the ground. What if I don't have squat shoes? Can I wear my Nike running shoes? Running shoes are soft and squishy. They're made for comfort, not necessarily support. Squat shoes, on the other hand, are made for support, not comfort. The heel is solid. There is no squishy foam on the bottom of the shoe. So the only thing I can equate squatting and running shoes to would be squatting with pillows under your feet. It's not a great idea. Instead, wear flat shoes like Converse or wrestling shoes and put your heels up on plates. This will mimic squat shoes until your ankle flexibility improves. Honestly, it's not a huge deal if you squat in running shoes. It's not ideal, 
But if I went to the gym and realized that I forgot my squat shoes, I would pick wearing my Nike running shoes that I warm up in over going barefoot, simply because of the raised heel. A few people brought up a great point on my how to squat video. If squatting deep is a natural human movement that we all should be able to do, why are we using unnatural man-made things like squat shoes to help us? You're right, I've been using these stupid man-made products as a crutch to help get me stronger. Not anymore. I wonder what other unnatural man-made products I've been using to help me get stronger. I've been using this stupid man-made weight belt to help get me stronger. I've been using this unnatural man-made barbell to help get me stronger. Pretty sure we weren't supposed to use this stupid unnatural iron plate to get stronger. I wasn't meant to wear this stupid cotton shirt either. I wasn't meant to wear these stupid man-made shorts either.